Hey everyone, it's Mr. Glode. How are you? Um, this is uh, going to be an amazing video um, about some geometric problems. Um, I hope everyone's well, and I promise not to uh, show my face uh, for this entire video. But um, we're going to go through this. Uh, this is a this is a uh, an assignment, as you can see. It's up here in Google Classroom. I'm in this uh, AU's Google Classroom, and this assignment is due um, on April 24th at 11:59 p.m. And it's about congruent chords and arcs. So we're gonna uh, I'm gonna do um, pretty much most of those problems. Um, she talks about okay. She has some directions up here. She has an Ed Puzzle video. Um, that's up there as well. Okay, you guys should definitely take a look at that. And she gives us a couple files here. She does the first file. So the first file is on the notes. Um, is notes on congruent chords and arcs. Uh, second file is the congruent um, chords and arcs worksheet, which you should have in your Unit Ten packets. And the third file is the homework. And then the fourth file is practice problems, um, even numbers. And I actually took a look at those because uh, I needed to know how to do some of these problems. So um, I did that, and now I'm willing to share uh, what I've done with you guys. Okay, so these are the files right here. Take a look at them real quick. Okay, these are some notes that she gave us. So we're gonna um, do a little bit of that first. These, these are the notes, they're blank, and she's asking us to do the odds, similar to what she asked us to do last week. Um, this is the homework, okay, the unit, uh, homework three, cores and arcs. It looks more complicated, to be honest, than it, than it really is. Uh, but like I said, I'll go through that with you. And then <clears throat> the congruent uh, cores and arcs practice, there's some practice problems here uh, that she did. So here we go. And like I said, I'm going to get rid of my face so that we can have the whole, uh, <clears throat> we can have the whole screen here. Okay. So I'm actually using a different program this time. I'm using this program called Kami. And it's a pretty good one because it, it, it allows you to edit PDFs. So I'm actually going to go here. I'm going to put a text box and I like purple. So I'm going to keep with purple. I'm going to go here and take some notes. So it says two chords are congruent if and only if uh, their corresponding um, arcs are congruent. Hmm, I wonder how to, I can't put that in there. Are congruent. <laughs> um, all right, these are the notes. I'm not doing anything uh, differently yet from what what Miss Ayub already gave us. So the corresponding arcs are congruent, and um, in this little diagram over here, we have A B, which is right here. Hold on, I'll put A B. Right is equal to okay C D. So C. D. Okay, and what does that look like? I'm going to do a little drawing here. So basically, we're talking about A, B right here. That's not bad of a line. Is congruent to, well, let's start with what it actually is. Oh, let's, let's make that better. Let's make that better. Let's do this here. Okay. Okay. C, D. So, <clears throat> And we have the measure, right, oh, okay, sorry. So these are chords, um, uh, A, B, I don't know if I said that or not. Text box, here we go. So chord A, B is congruent. I'm just going to go with it. And the measure, um, 
So let's go here, measure. I can't really make any cool little things in this, but I'll put them in after the measure of AB is equal to the measure of CD, CD. Okay, let's do this here and let's do this little drawing. Uh, see if I can make it nice and awesome. I don't know if I can get that same purple though. Let's see what I can do here. Okay, so we have this little thing here. Eh, it's not pretty, but it works kind of. Okay, and then we can go boom, just like that. Okay. So uh, let's go back to the text, and it says B. Let's see what B says. They are equidistant, equidistant, right, from the sen center. Okay, equidistant from the center. Okay, so. Oh, I didn't draw a little thing up here from before, so let me draw that first. So that little thing, A, B, um, drawing. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at this, uh, I guess, arc, right? So you can correct me if I'm wrong. But this arc is equal to this arc. That's good enough okay and they're equidistant from the center so that means that a b all right a b is equal to c d and e f is equal to e g okay so we already know that we already know about that so now we do e f and e g okay Something like that. Let's get some text in there so we can see what we're doing here. Okay. So AB is equal to CD. And um, that means that EF is equal to EG. All right, cool. Um, if our diameter or radius is perpendicular, to a chord, then it bisects, bisects, okay, the chord, chord, and its arc, okay. Oh boy, so. Uh, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom in here, and I'm gonna do this with my with my finger instead. Let's see if I what I can do here. Oh, cool! It kind of keeps it nice. Let's see if I can like actually like draw with my finger because I think this is gonna be a better way drawing. Um, okay, so we have we have E. Oop, that's a horrible color though let's go undo that um let's do purple here okay so we have e oh boy h is perpendicular to a b okay and when we kind of scroll over here, let's zoom back out. Uh, oh, there we go. I can just scroll over like that. Zoom back in. Um, there we go. So EH, okay, here we go. Drawing. EH is perpendicular to AB. And, oh, meh. We'll just do a text box, fine. AF is equal to FB. 
Okay. Um, measure of a h is equal to measure ooh, measure of h b. Okay. So once again, we have this little drawing here. I'm gonna. I'm just actually gonna kind of try to freehand this one, so we can go like this. Oh, perfect. And this. Okay. Something like that. It's not the best, but it's a, it's it's good enough. So if we zoom back out, we can kind of look at what we have here. So E H is perpendicular to E H is per perpendicular to A B and A F is equal to F B. Okay, that's good to know. And the measure of angle measure of A H right is equal to the measure of H B and kind of on the other side too. Okay, we can see that. <clears throat> so that's good. All right. What we're going to do here, we're going to start doing some of these problems. We're going to keep all these things in mind. And like I said before, it does, it is, does seem to be a lot harder than what it really is. But we have a lot of things that we've, you know, a lot of definitions up here. So um, it really won't be too, too hard. Okay, I'm actually going to zoom back in so that I can draw with my finger again. And let's see if this works the best. Let's do one more. Oh, yeah, this is going to be great. Oh, this is going to be perfect. Okay. Uh oh. Uh, eraser, let's do this. Okay, cool. All right. So we have to do the odds. So let's do number one here. Okay, um, drawing. And you like this color? Yeah, I kind of like the color, but I think I want them to be like darker. Save. All right, cool. All right, so let's find x. So we can see that x is going to be 7x plus 24 equal to 115. Okay, so this one's pretty easy. Um, we can see that these two these two sides basically are going to be equal to each other. So what we have is we have 7x, right, plus 24 equals 115. Okay, we're going to do this. Okay, minus 24, minus 24, 7x equals 91 right? divide by 7 divide by 7 this cancels out this cancels out so now we have x by itself equals 91 divided by 7 which is 13 okay so that's our first answer there okay we have x equal to 13. all right cool um let's scroll down Oh, that is nice. Okay. Find. <clears throat> now we're going to find this uh, x, y here. Okay. So basically what we got to do is find x first. Okay. We need to find x and then sub it back into this equation for this line. Okay. We only want to find x, y. Now here's the thing. Once again. Okay. These two lines are going to be equal to each other. So we're just going to set them equal to each other. All right, so we have 9x minus 34 equals 4x plus 1. All right, and that's it. I'm just going to do simple arithmetic here. Okay, um, we're going to minus 4x from this side. Boom, minus 4x. So we got 5x minus 34 okay equals one oh fell let's undo that ah there we go okay equals one um plus 34 plus 34 we have 5x equals 35 right 
divide by 5, divide by 5. Got x by itself, cancels out, cancels out, blah, blah, blah. Um, x is equal to 35 divided by 5, which is 7. Now, I said before, we have to take this x now. We have to sub it into this equation over here for uh, x, which is now 7, right, plus 1. Okay. And 4 times 7 is 28. Um, <clears throat> plus 1, which is equal to 29. So, x, y. x, y is equal to 29. Okay. And I think that's good for that. Okay. Number 5. Now, you might have noticed that these two problems, Miss Ayub actually already did for us, and she posted them. Now, number five, not so much. Okay, got to do this on our own. So, let's see what the... Oh, I want to mess up my papers here. Okay. Okay, here we go. So, this one says, find X. Well... Notice x is over here in this little right there, 6x minus 20. Um, okay. You're probably uh, already figuring out, okay, that we have to do this here. This side is equal to this side. Oh, that came out pretty good, right? So we have two sides of 6x minus 20. So we're going to write... 2 times 6x minus 20, okay? Now, what does that equal, though? Well, we know that the whole circle all the way around is 360 degrees. So if we take th this and we set it equal to 360, but wait, 360 minus... 76. Why minus 76? Because they give us this little spot here, this little part of the circle there. Okay? Pretty simple. Um, so let's do this out. 2 times 6x is 12x, right? Minus 40, which equals 360 minus 76, which is... 284, okay? Do some math here, some easy math. Plus 40, plus 40, okay? Then we have 12x equals 324. Divide by 12, Oop. divide by 12, and we have x, so this cancels out, equals um, 324 divided by 12, which is 27, okay? And that's what they, uh, that's actually what they asked us to find. Remember, they said to find X, so X is 27 in this problem. Boom, 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 okay, X is 27. Here we go, keep going. Hope, hopefully that one is making sense. You just have to kind of look at it and and, and, and figure that out there. All right, let's look at number seven here. Okay. Number seven. Let's do it. Okay, we have DE is equal to 11X plus 15, and FG is equal to 32X minus 27. Well, they're just equal to each other, so we have to find X first, and then it wants us to find the length of DE. So we have to sub it back in once we find it. So we have 11 X plus 15, right? Equal to 32 X minus 27. Okay. Boom. Um, you can pick and choose your side. Uh, I kind of did this. Let's do this here. 
guys, I always try to draw this line right under the equal sign, okay? Because we want both sides to stay equal. We can't do something on one side and not do it on the other side of the equal sign. That's why I draw that line right down the middle, okay? Um, if you haven't noticed that, <laughs> it's just something that I always do because it's the best way to keep it um, keep it even and get the right answer. So this is going to cancel out. So we're going to have 11 X, right? Equal now to 32 X, um, minus, this is going to be minus 42, right? Minus 32 X, ah, X minus 32 X. So what do we have? What's 11 X minus 32 X? That is negative 21 X. Okay, is going equal negative 42. Okay, now it's fine, right? If we have negatives, don't freak out. We're just going to divide by negative, divide by negative 21, cancels out, get our x, divide by negative 21, negative 42 divided by negative 21 is going to equal a positive, x is going to equal 2, okay? Now it says find de though, remember, so de is this, uh, <clears throat> equation up here, okay, until de is 11 times x, which is our 2 now, okay, plus 15. Now, 11 times 2 is 22, plus 15, which is going to be 30, what, 37, right? It's 37, okay. Um, yeah, I think that's right. D equal to 37. Okay. That is our answer for number seven. All right, let's keep going. All right. This one looks really confusing. Okay. However, it's really not. Um, there's actually not even math that you have to do, really. Uh, there's just, you have to just understand some of these principles here. Okay, so in circle Z, if, and this is our circle, if RS equals 18, so that's, that's the length here of this, um, I think it's a chord, right? RS is 18, measure of arc TY, TY is 42 degrees, Oh, I'm going to draw this so pretty. That's 42 degrees. Find each measure. Okay, great. So, TV, 30, uh, RS, sorry, is, okay, remember, this is 18. So, it's half of 18. Nine, right? So, we got nine right here. Nine right here. So R, W, W, S. Why am I saying that? They're not asking for that. Or actually, they are right here. We're not there yet. What's TV, though? Right? TV, well, that's going to be 9. Because TU is the same as this 18 here. And if half of RS is 9, then half of TU is 9, which means TV. TV is 9. Okay, TV is 9. TU, obviously, if it's the whole thing, then it's 9 times 2, which is 18. Same as RS, which is 18. Okay, WS, WS, that's obviously 9. Okay, measure of angle um, YU is obviously 42. Okay, because it's just on the other side of this. They gave us half of it. All right, they gave us half of TU, but uh, now they want the other half, which is RU, I mean YU. So YU is 42 as well. So 42 degrees. 
I could draw that little degree sum better. Maybe I'll do that in the future. I don't know. And what's the measure of angle? Measure of angle. I mean, not angle. What am I talking about? Arc. RS. So that's this whole thing now. RS. Well, we know that our that it's buddy over here. Half of its buddy, or half of it, is 42. So we could just do 42 times 2, which is 84. Okay, boom, 84 degrees. Like I said, you don't really have to do any math here. There's nothing really to figure out. You just have to kind of like understand the principles. Okay, hopefully all that all made sense. And, you know, you got my notes up there to take a look at. Um, and some notes from Ms. AU too, uh, from um, the other stuff that she's posted. Okay, number 11. This one's pretty easy. Okay, so we got QM is 6x minus 11, and MR is 2x plus 9. Okay, great. Well, these are little, these little tiny um, lengths in here. So if they want us to find MN at the end, I'm already thinking that we're going to have to multiply whatever we get by 2. Okay, cool. Fantastic. Here we go. So 6 x minus 11 equals 2 x plus 9, right? 2 x plus 9. Okay. Okay, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. All right. So let's, um, I'm going to add 11. Add 11 here. Add 11. Okay, so we get this cancels out. We got 6 x um, equals 2x now, right? Uh, 9 plus 11 is uh, plus 20. Okay, minus 2x minus 2x. This is going to cancel out over here now. We have 4x equal to 20. Okay, divide by 4, divide by 4 x equals 5. Okay, now, like I said before, we have to find this. We have, this is MR, right? But we need to find MN. So we're actually going to do this 2, right? So we have, this is MR, which is 2 times our x now, which is 5, right? Plus 9. So we're going to do 2 times 5, which is 10, plus 9, which is 19. But we need to do this times 2 because we want the whole length. So MN is actually going to equal 19 times 2, which is 38. Okay, that's that. Boom. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right, hopefully that makes sense as well. Okay, VW. Now, these actually threw me for a loop for a couple minutes, and then I was like, eh, that's not that hard. I thought you had to use Sokotoa, but turns out you actually don't. You can just take a look at this, um, these little things, and these are just, this is just a triangle. So I think I did this correctly. Miss you can correct me if I'm wrong, like I said before. Um, <clears throat> so, can just use Pythagorean theorem, believe. Okay, so number 13 says, find VW. All right, so VW, okay, VW is there. Well, half of VW is ZW. And I can find that with the Pythagorean theorem, right? Just, just bear with me. Just watch this. So we could do 5 squared, right, plus b squared equals 13 squared, okay? And 20, 5 squared is 25 plus b squared equals 13 squared and 169. Yes, guys, I do like squares. Um, I don't know. I always have. It's weird. I know. 
okay? Minus 25 from both sides, minus 25. And then you have v squared equals 169 minus 25, which is 144. Okay, take the square root, take the square root, and you have b is equal to, okay, and remember our b is going to be zw, it's going to be equal to 12. Now, we found out that this little thing right here is equal to 12. That's what we, that's what we just found out. We want to know what this is. All we have to do? Multiply by 2, okay? So times 2, and we get VW equals 12 times 2, which is 24, okay? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the answer for that one. All right, pH. Let's just make sure I'm still recording. All right, cool. Uh, good. Oh, undo that little dot. All right, cool. Number 15, <clears throat> find P H. Now, oh, okay, this is even, e easy, even easier, okay? Um, <clears throat> so we, it says, it tells us here, HK, this whole length here is 30. So that means half of it, right? We have to just, we have to just know that half of it's gonna be 15. It's gonna be 15. This is going to be 15. Oh, that's horrible, but whatever. It's 15. Um, and PM, PM is equal to 8. Well, if we know PM is equal to 8, then we know that PN is equal to 8. And guess what? We can do Pythagorean theorem again. However, now we have the hypotenuse because we're trying to find, trying to find PH, this little line right here. 15, we've got 15 on this side, 8 on this side. So let's just do that. Pythagorean theorem again. Okay. We could do 8 squared um, plus 15 squared equals c squared. Okay. Um, 8 squared is 64. Uh, plus 15 squared is 225. Oh, and that's equal to c squared. Ah, I did this before too. That's not 64. That's a 65. Let's get that eraser in here. Okay. Drawing again. <clears throat> um, 64. Okay, so 64 plus 225 is 289. Now, you're not going to believe me, but I do know what the square root of 289 is. I did make sure I did look use the calculator to make sure blah 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 whatever, but I swear to God, um, I do know that the square root of two eighty nine is in fact seventeen. Okay, so this little line in here is seventeen. Obviously, it's the same on this side as it is on this side. So um, our C is 17, or what they really found wanted us to find is pH is equal to 17. Boom. Okay, that's that. All right, and that's actually the end right here. This is the end of our notes. But Mr. G, but Mr. G, what about the homework? Well, okay, fine. Let me uh, zoom out of here. And I like how it continues to keep it there. It just makes it nice and small. Okay. Oh, that looks great. Doesn't that look great? Okay, I can see all my work in there. It's wonderful. Um, I think I did it all correctly. Is that you? If I didn't, let me know. That's fine. All right. So now we're going to switch over here. Remember, our notes are up here. Um, as well. Now we're going to switch over here to <clears throat> the homework. This is homework now, okay? Similar to what we just did. Let's go through it again. 
think I had this up to like 240. Yeah, there we go. That's perfect. That looks great. Okay. All right, here we go. Find each value or measure. So we have RS is equal to 59 and ST is equal to 10x minus 31. So we know we need to find X. So we're just going to do this. We're going to do um, actually, you know, I hate red. I hate red. Let's do even darker purple. Save. Let's do even darker purple than we did before. I think that's what was. Ah, but it's still red. I do. Oh, okay, save. Yeah. It's still red. Well, let me pick red. Okay, there, there's the purple. Okay, cool. Um, all right. 10, so we have 10, ooh, that's a dark purple, 10x minus 31 equals 59, 10 plus 31, plus 31, all right, oh, didn't draw my little line here yet, here we go, so we have this cancels out, 10 x equals um 90 put the number zero one 90 yeah okay divide by 10 divide by 10 and x is going to equal 9 okay go all right cool um if the measure of the arc of ad is 85 boop, 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 boop. This right here, right, is what is what is that? 85. Oh my gosh. Boom. 85 degrees. And BC. Alright, this little one shoop, right in here is 31. Boom. Find the value of X. Okay. Well, they gave us a bunch of stuff here, but we can notice that <laughs> they left out these two sides. Okay, they left out this one, which we know is 13x minus 21. And we also know then if that's 13x minus 21, then this side is 13x minus 21 as well. Okay, so we're actually going to do 2 times uh, 13x minus 21 and equals, okay. Once again, we know the whole circle is how many degrees? 360. So we're going to do 360 minus 85, okay, minus 31, okay. And 2 times 13, this is 26x minus 42. Um, equals 360 minus 85 minus 31. You could use your calculator to figure this out. Is 244. Okay. So here we go. Now we got an equation. Okay. All we're looking for is x here. So we don't have to do anything else besides that. So we're going to add 42. Add 42. Okay. Boom. 26x equals 244 plus 42, which is 286, okay, divided by 26, divided by 26, which then we get x equals, uh, once again, 286 divided by 26 is 11. You can see that there's, a, there's an 11 right in there. So this is our answer, and it just asks us to find x. On the top here, just find X. Okay, number five. Measure of arc UV. UV. Okay, this one um, is equal to a X minus seventeen, and measure of angle WV is ugh, that was ugly. Is five X plus fifty two. All right, so now it wants us to do find the measure 
of the actual measure, the, you know, the degrees of WB. So we have to find X and then we have to sub back in there. That's fine. Um, okay. So here we go. We got eight X minus 17 is equal to five X plus 52. All right, let's draw a little thing here. Okay, so let's add 17. Add 17. So we got 8x is equal to 5x. This cancels out. Um, plus, you know, um, 69. And then minus 5 x let's make that a minus minus 5x cancels out minus 5x so that's going to be 3x equals 69 okay divided by 3 cancels out x equals oops, divided by 3 x equals 69 divided by 3 which is 23. now it doesn't ask us to find x though it asks us to find the measure of arc wv <laughs> And we then have to plug it back into this equation. So WV is right here. Okay, our equation for WV is five times X, which we just found is 23, right? Plus 52. Five times 23 is what? 115 plus 52 okay so we just add those 115 plus 52 that's a seven that's a six so um the measure of w v equals um wait what did i say uh 100 67. I think that's correct. 7, 5, 6. Yep, I think so. Okay. Boom. And then degrees. Okay. There we go. It's number 5. Rolling right along here. Okay. Um, the measure of arc BC is equal to 9x minus 53. Okay, so we have VC here, which is 9x minus 53. And measure of arc CD, just on the other side here, is 2x plus 45. Now, here, here's the thing. These two are, we know that those are equal, so we're just going to set them equal. But then it asks us to do this. Find this other arc over here, BAD. Okay. Let's see what we have to do. <clears throat> so we got 9x minus 53 is equal to 2x plus 45. Right? Boom. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to add 53. Notice how I like to get my numbers over here on this side. So I, I get rid of them over here and I put my numbers not my variables right so now we have 9x i like my variables on the left over here uh, equals 2x whatever 45 plus 53 is which is uh, 98 oh wow that's a fail that's we're going to undo that okay so that's uh, 2x plus 98 minus 2x minus 2x, right? That's going to be 7x, 9x minus 2x is 7x, equals 98, divide by 7, divide by 7, and we have x equals 14. Awesome. x equals 14, but we're not done. Okay. <clears throat> what we have to find is the measure of arc length BAD. And we have to figure out 
we have to figure out what one of these equals first, multiply it by two, and then subtract it. All right, here we go. Let's, to, let's take, in my opinion, the easier one, which is the measure of arc CD. So that, is, that equation is right here. And we have two times uh, 14, right? Because now what we know is um, <clears throat> x plus 45, right? So 2 times 14 is 28 plus 45, um, which is 73. Remember, we have to multiply by 2, so multiply by 2, right, and that equals 146. Now, that that 146 is this length right here. One, 146 is this length right here, okay? But we know, because this is 73, this is 73 um, on each side of this, right? Both of them together, 146. So what's BAD then? BAD is going to be 360, right? Let's put it down here. 360 minus 146. And that's going to equal 214. So the measure, and that's what we need to find, right? That was what they asked us to do, the measure of the... A D okay is equal to 214. Boom, 214 degrees. Okay, that's what it was, and that's what it is. Here we go. That's number seven. Hopefully that all made sense to you. We had to do a couple uh, a couple extra steps there, but I think it worked out in the end pretty well. Okay, getting down to our last problems here. Nine, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen. Okay, once again, number nine, looks like we got to do a lot of stuff. We don't. All right. It says JG is equal to JG right here is equal to JF, even though it doesn't kind of look like it. Um, GD is equal to 13. Okay. <clears throat> and the measure of arc CD is 136. So that whole big arc here is 136. Oh, let's do that. 136 degrees. Okay. So what then is ED? All right. What's, what's, what's this length here? Well, if, if GD is 13, then ED uh, EG is also 13, so 2 times 13 is going to be 26. Okay, see where I got that? EG is 13 because it's halfway in the middle here. So <clears throat> 13 plus 13 is 26. Um, CF, then obviously, okay, CF is 13. Okay, the measure of arc ED, ED around here, right, boom, um, ED, that's 136, just like CD, boom, okay, um, <clears throat> measure of arc HD is... Where is it? Okay. Oh, it's half. Look at this. You can see it's already half. So it's a half of 136. That's 68. Boom. And the measure of arc um, CE. Oh, now they, they're trying to check us up. CE right here. Look. Boom, 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 boom. So what's 136? <laughs> 136 plus 136, right? So 272. So 360. Let's do 360 minus 272, which is what? Uh, 88. Oh, okay. 
equals 88. So we can figure that out. You can see that because obviously we have 136 plus 136. And then this last little piece here is 88. Okay. There we go. Number 11. All right, flying right through. Okay. PQ is equal to QR. Yup. We know that. That's pretty easy. PQ, QR. Cool. Um, JK is equal to 3X plus 23. And LM is equal to 9X minus 19. So find PK. <clears throat> okay. So we're going to have to find that X here and then find half of the line. Awesome. That's fine. So what do we have? We have 3X... All right, plus 23 equals 9x minus 19. Let's put our little line. Okay, boom, 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 boom. Um, we're going to minus 3x. Okay, minus 3x. Oop. Um, this cancels out. We got 23 equals 6x, okay, minus 19. We're going to get plus 19, plus 19, and this cancels out. So we have 6x equal to, now, um, <coughs> 42, All right? So... New so little line there, divide by six, divide by six, and we have seven equals x. Now we got to sub it back in. Okay, we're gonna sub it back into this uh, equation for jk because we're having we got to find half of jk, which is pk. Right, we're gonna find pk. So let's sub it into that equation. So three times seven now, which is our x times seven, three times seven, plus 23 equals 21 plus 23, 21 plus 23 equals 44. And since we want to divide it by two to get half, which would be PK, um, P, K equals 44 divided by 2, which equals 22. Sounds plausible to me. All right, number 11, there it is. Okay. We're going to do the circle, these circle problems again. It seems complicated, but it's really not. Especially these two. Actually, these two are easier. Okay. So, so it says find N K here. Once again, even this is even even like I said, this one gives us uh, NL and LK um, are nine and fifteen. We could just do Pythagorean theorem again. Uh, I don't know why we wouldn't. So here we go. Um, we have a well that it looks bad, bad. Okay. A squared, that's slightly better, I guess, <laughs> plus 9 squared equals 15 squared. Everybody see where I got that from? Okay. This is my, we're doing A, B, C. So A squared plus 9 squared equals 15 squared. So that's it. A squared plus uh, 9 squared, which is 81, equals 15 squared, which is 225. Okay, um, so that means a squared. Oh, sorry, I got a minus 81, minus 81 from both sides first. That means a squared equals 144. And square root of a squared is going to get us a, a equal to square root of 144, which is 12. Now, look at number 15, ready? It says literally, so this is number, this is, this is 13, 13, done. Okay, it says find N, 
Yeah, it says find NK. Now it says for number 15, find JK. Well, seriously, JK is just two times NK. So literally we need to do two times 12, and that is equal to 24. And that is JK equal to 24. Boom. Done. Okay. Like I said before, hope you guys are well. Miss Ayub, if I did any of this wrong, let me know. Um, hopefully not. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully I did it correct. That's okay. If I did it wrong, I can always redo this. And like I said, I like how this all stays uh, nicely together once I am finished. Okay, thank you very much. Once again, this uh, this uh, um, PDF editor is called Kami. It's free. You guys can add it yourselves. Um, and that's that. So I'm going to stop this now. Bye-bye.